june is a month of supernatural strategy but to be the month for the spirit of counsel so the spirit of counsel shall be in control of this month of june yes we love you lord yes we love you lord we love you lord we love you lord yes and to belay mantalabash we love you lord chapita lege badalabasata in the name of the lord jesus oh jesus oh jesus Help us. Help us. To take advantage and make the most of every good thing that is in us. Help us. To make the most of the blessings of God in our lives. Save us from our ignorance. Save us from ourselves. Help us. Help us to discover fully what you have put in us. Help us. Help us to get back to dominion through this acknowledgement, through this full awareness of what you have put in us. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's continue quickly. This is so beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. June. Is for the spirit of counsel. That's why it's called the mode of supernatural strategy. It's for the spirit of counsel. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. If Jesus needed that spirit, then we should need him much more. And it says, with that spirit, he shall not judge. With the side of his eyes, or by the side of his eyes, not after the end of his ears. What is he telling you? That he shall live above the sense realm. That means his judgment shall be informed, his decisions and choices shall be informed by his supernatural influence, not by the influence of the eyes and ears. Watch something carefully. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hush. Let's look at, at, at just a few, a few more portions and wrap this off from here. Look at something. You, I remember, I'm sure you remember the story of Jacob in the house of Laban. Okay. Now this guy had been there for a couple of years. Bible tells us how he, he served for several years in the house of Laban and he didn't have anything to show for it. Seven years for his wife. I was meeting the wrong woman. Another seven years for the other woman. Fourteen years he had not, he had a, he had two wives now. They had nothing. You know, you find Christians who think by speaking of their misfortune are, are speaking to 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 arouse God's empathy. They feel when I talk like that, God will be moved by my situations. I have nothing to show for my life. <laughs> and and they think when you say that, and God will just oh I'm so moved. What do you want? What do you, no, Jacob said to his two wives, now I have two wives. In my father in those house, I have nothing to care about them. Nothing to give to take to take of my children. He, he of course he was he didn't waste time. He said they have children immediately. But he didn't have what to take, how to how, to sustain his family. And he said, I will serve yet more. Another six years. For 20 years. For 20 years, 14 years for, for two wives. 
But you see what? For those number of years, he was with Laban's cattle. He just didn't know how to make anything out of what he was dealing with. Every day he went out and brought them in. He didn't have an idea what to do. And then one day, the spirit of counsel showed up in the dream. Oh, what did I say? I said the spirit of strategy showed up in the dream. Let's read something in Genesis chapter 31. Come on, let's go. I want you guys to know him because I need to ex ex expose you to some of his ways and acts so that you can have a genuine hunger for his, for his, for his ministry in your life. Mm. Hallelujah, glory. Who shakata la mandri? I come breezily at Casilitris. Casilitris, hallelujah, glory. Oh my, just make sure you are not anywhere else, okay? Be here and here alone. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. From verse, I'm trying to read minimal verses as much as possible. <laughs> but it would have been best to read it from the last verse upwards. That way you understand why that was important. Okay, so let's see if it's possible that way. From verse 12. From verse 11 will be nice. We read 11 to 12. And I'm perhaps just go upstairs. Or go, I say go upstairs. Go, go up the other verses. But look at it from 11. And the angel of God spoke unto me in a dream. Huh? I'm sure when I mention dream, you should remember me. <laughs> okay. And the angel of God spoke unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob. And I said, Here am I. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes and see. All the rams which live upon the cattle are ring strict speckled and grizzled for i have seen all that laban do it unto thee i am the god of bethel where thou anointed the pillar and where thou vowest the vow unto me now arise get thee out of from this land and return to the land of thy kindred right okay from verse one now look, look at now from verse one that we are, we are, we will be reading about of his results with this spirit then verse 12 tells us how it really happened. Because verse, verses 1 down shows us how it became rich, but, but we didn't really tell us the secret to it. So we are reading, but we'll be reading about um, his present state and the and the um the the grouse or the offenses of Laban's children. But what was really behind it, we were not told until the two verses I just read earlier from verse 1. And and he heard the words of Laban's son saying, Jacob had taken the word that was our father's. Are you there? All that was our fathers. And of all that which was our fathers, had he gotten all his all this glory. And Jacob beheld the kindness of Laban, and, he, and, and behold, it was not towards him as before. You remember what Laban said to Jacob? He said, I have come to know by experience that God has blessed me because of you. Hey, don't let your company be prospering because of that. You are not prospering. No. Because if you notice, he said God has blessed me, not Jacob, because of you. But Jacob had nothing to show for it. Laban was being blessed. That's where counsel becomes necessary. I'm not saying start stealing your company's money. <laughs> That's not how to get blessed because he didn't tell Jacob to steal from Laban. So don't miss it up. Just learn what I'm telling you now. You see that there are ways to get success without stealing from anybody. Okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And Jacob beheld the kindness of Laban, and behold, it was not towards him as before. And thus unto Jacob, return unto the land of thy fathers, and to thy kindred, and I will be with thee. And Jacob sent and called Rachel Leah to the field unto his flock, and said unto them, I see your father's kindness, that it's not towards me as before, but the God of my father had been with me. And you know that with all my power, I have served your father, and your father had deceived me, and turned my wages ten times. But God suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, the speckled shall be, shall be thy wages, then all the cattle bear speckled. And if he said thus, the ring state shall be thy, thy hire, then bear, then, bear all, then bear all the cattle ring straight. 
Thus, God had taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. And it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived, that I lifted up my eye and saw in a dream. <laughs> I saw in a dream. And behold, the rams which lived upon the cattle were ring streaked, speckled, and grizzled. And the angel of God spoke unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob, and I said, Here I am. And he said, Lift up now thy eyes and see all the rams which live upon the cattle are ring streaked, speckled, and grizzled. For I have seen all that labor and do it unto you. I am the God of Bethel, where thou art the pillar, and where thou vast devour unto me. Now arise, get thee out from this land, and return unto the land of thy kindred. And Rachel Lee answered and said, You know, it's, it's all, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of, of, of reading. And, um, but you, you all must be familiar with this whole, uh, the entire narrative and the scenarios, how, um, he said to Laban, you know what? And when he has seen the dream, he said to Laban, take away all of the dotted cattle, all of them, take them out of the, the mist. Let me have the plain colored ones. If anyone produces a ring stick or speckled one from this plain colored one, that shall be mine. That's a hard bargain. That's a hard bargain. Where would they come from? But not with the spirit of counsel. All he needed to do was to just get a popular tree, carve it, dirt it, place it where they drink. Because that was what God showed him. But that couldn't be possible with human senses, human ability. But that's what God showed him. Just like God said to Moses, that's what counsel, take the rod and strike the rock. That's what counsel. Strategy. I mean, they could have looked for water. Why, why rock? What that simply tells you is that even if you are before the rock, you can be so successful in life. You can stand by the rock and have a water industry. It just simply tells you there are no impossibilities with God. No wonder Daniel will say the people that do know their God, not those who have read about him. The people that do know that, but they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. See, the, the insufficient knowledge of God accounts for the sufferings of God's children. Insufficient knowledge of God accounts for the sufferings of God's children. It's why they suffer. It's why they suffer. Acute ignorance. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Let's, let's take a, a proper look at certain things. That's just one with Jacob. But of course, I have lots and lots of examples of, of the, the spirit of, of counsel, examples of Bible characters that, that he led and, and made super successful and, and so forth. But I can take, take everything at once. Just a few examples that stood out to me. A few examples. And, and the next one is something that I want us to treasure for a reason. When you study the life of Moses, the Bible tells us, because he defied God, God said to Moses, you will not go to the promised land. And so Moses said to the Lord, because you know he had gone to the Lord a couple of times to see if he could change God's mind. And the last time God said, don't, 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 don't ever mention that thing anymore. I, I won't change it. You are not going in. And so Moses said to the Lord, okay, now that you are complete, I'm not going in. Who have you chosen to lead the people? Ash. God said, pick Joshua. Right. Pick Joshua. I want you guys to learn something. Pick Joshua. He shall be the next guy. And place your hand on him before the people that I may take some of your honor and place and put on him. That there'll be a transfer of graces. Now the Bible tells us when you read the Deuteronomy, which we'll read in a moment, it says that Joshua was filled or was full of wisdom because Moses had laid his hands on him. Is that correct? But then, as you go closer to the beginning of the process, you find that God said to Moses, even though you have given him wisdom. He must not make this without the spirit of counsel. Numbers 27, quickly. Numbers 27. Book of Numbers. 
chapter 27 from verse 15. All right, from verse 15. And Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation, which may go out before them, and which may go in before them, and which may lead them out, and which may bring them in. That the congregation of... Now, look, he's talking about direction, spirit of direction. Watch it carefully. That may go out before them, lead them out, bring them in. Are you getting... Look at it. Okay. Uh, first 17, which may go out before them, which may go in before them, which may lay them out, and which may bring them in, that the conclusion of the Lord be not as sheep which have no shepherd. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee, Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay thy hand upon him, and set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him a child in their sight, and thou shalt put some of thy honor upon him, that all the congregation of the Israel may be obedient. Are you listening to me? Please follow. May be obedient. And he shall stand before her. Put your hands on him. Transfer your honor. And let all his see that he may be obedient. Right? Now if you pause here and go to Deuteronomy 34. It tells us what happened to Joshua when Moses laid his hand on Joshua. Right? So we'll be back here quickly. Deuteronomy 34. Verse 9. And Joshua, the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom, right? For Moses had laid his hands upon him, and the top is there hacking unto him, and did as the Lord commanded Moses, right? So God said, place your hand on Joshua and impart him. So when Moses did, Joshua became full of the spirit of wisdom. Back to Numbers 27. All right, so... Um, we, we, we have read um, 20, verse 20. And thou shalt put some of thine honor upon him, that all the children of John is there may, ob, may be obedient. Okay. So, that was, so the 34 of Deuteronomy was what happened when Moses laid his hands on Joshua, right? So, Joshua became full of wisdom, or spirit of wisdom, when Moses laid his hands on him. But look at what, what something more important than just having that spirit of wisdom. The next, verse 21. And he shall stand before Eleazar. Now, this is a man full of wisdom, right? And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall ask counsel. Are you there? Who shall ask counsel for him after the judgment of the Urim before the Lord at his word? That means at the counsel of the Lord. Shall they go out and at his word? Shall they come in? Both he and all the children of Israel with him, even all the congregation. Did you see that? Joshua received the spirit of wisdom, but God said he must stand before Eliezer to ask for counsel. You see why people think because you are wise, you don't need counsel, are in trouble. Because wisdom said, I carry out my actions by counsel. I am wisdom. I have the know when, but I need the strategy. When to do it, just doesn't guarantee that you will be successful without strategy. I need a strategy. That's what counsel is. He said, by the word of Eleazar, the priest, shall Joshua, the man full of wisdom, go out and come in. Spirit of direction. Did you, did you see that? Specific. Not just that, because he's full of wisdom, he cannot just go out. No! He said, we stand before Eliezer the priest. Who will ask counsel for him? Who will ask counsel for him? Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. He is the spirit of direction. The spirit of direction. Book of Isaiah chapter 30. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, glory. Ha <laughs> ah. ha. Verse 21. The King James first. And then ears. 
shall hear a word behind thee, saying, this is the way, direction, walk ye in it, when you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left hand, spirit of counsel, is the spirit of direction, will tell you the way to go, will tell you the way to go, like he says in verse 1 of it, it says here, if you look at it carefully, he says, Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover the cover, but not of my spirit, that they may ask sin to see that work to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth. Why is God interested in asking from his mouth if he has already given us common sense? Because he tells us that is the way that seems right to a man. There's the way that seems right to a man. He said, but the end of it are the ways of death. But when the spirit of truth is come, he shall show you of things to come. It was that same spirit that wouldn't let Paul the apostle go to Bithynia and Asia. He knew where Paul ought to be. He knew where Paul ought to be. Your feelings may all be in the wrong direction. Your mind may all be in the wrong direction. But not the spirit of counsel. When he comes, he sees to it that you walk in the path of life. When he comes, he sees to it that you walk in the path of life. The spirit of counsel. His job is to keep in the path of life. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, glory. Quickly. This is something we must quickly take. Psalm 16. Look at something beautiful. And the central truth to it. Psalm 16. From verse 5. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my Lord. The lines are fallen to me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless. Now it, it wants to show us how that all happened. Verse 7. I will bless the Lord who had given me counsel. My rains also instruct me in the night seasons. What does that mean, by the way? When he says my rains instruct me in the night seasons, he's talking about my inward man. My inward man instructs me in the night seasons. And people of God, what is night seasons? What does it mean by night seasons? It is at night. I used to hear, night seasons is symbolic of moments of confusion. My inward man, by the spirit of counsel, instructs me in my moments of confusion. Night seasons mean lack of direction. My inward man instructs me when I lack direction. Do you understand what I'm saying right now? Night seasons means moments of uncertainty. I used to hear. Night season means when when um when I'm um I'm faced with gridlock. When I'm faced with gridlock, and you know the biggest of all, it is when all options are humanly possible are exhausted. That's night seasons. When all options that are humanly possible are exhausted. He said, when all options that are humanly possible are exhausted, my inward man. By the spirit of counsel, instructs me. When all human options are over, when all my best ideas are fed, he says, My reins, my inward man, by the Holy Ghost spirit of counsel, instructs me in my night seasons, my darkest moments. 
And then he tells us, I have set the Lord always before me. And because he's at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory just uh, My first shall rest in hope for thou will not leave my soul in hell. That means confusion. You will leave my soul in confusion, torment, torture. Now that we dance for the Lord's corruption, then look at the next thing. He tells you what his of counsel is for, what he does. 11, he said, thou will show me the path of life. Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Many times our churches quote this scripture and ignore the spirit of counsel. The fullness of joy is the result of the work of the spirit of counsel. Pleasures evermore, spirit of counsel. Hallelujah. Ah! Look at Psalm 73. I, I, you know, David is one man I would have loved to read so much about. So much about. You read how David and his mighty men had gone out to, to find some, from, some provisions for their families. And then tells us when they came back, they found out that the Amalekites had invaded Ziklag and carried away with everything they had. Wives and children. And, all, and tells you how that every man wept for his sons and daughter until they was just to weep. And they thought of studying David. And David, rather than acting in, in, with Acting through his whims and impulses. What did he do? The Bible says, and David inquired. How many of you would do that when your loved ones are kidnapped? The next you want to do is to, is to cut police. You won't even hold it in and say, Lord, what do I do at this point? He says it in First Samuel 30. He says, and then David inquired. I must read that. I must read that. I want to challenge those of you who think uh, the matter is too urgent to, to seek God. Who think it's an emergency doesn't require the Holy Ghost? How can you, how can you go to, how can you say, um, uh, ash, the doctor's report is your first, is your first result? How can you say that? How can you say that? How can you let pressure from home make you make stupid decisions? Did you read what I just said about you? That his mighty men, the men of his confidence are taught to stone him. That was supposed to be his most distressful moment. A man to want to give up on the hope of becoming a king. But look at what the man did. You think you have any excuse for your irrationality? You think you have any excuse for your uninformed decisions? Look at it. How much of it can I read? From verse, from verse 1, I've told you the story already. I've told you the story already, so I'm not reading all of that to you. His wives and everything was there, and David was greatly distressed for the people who spoke of stoning him because the soul of, every, of the boy were grieved every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord. And David said to be after the priest, Ahimelech's son, because remember, he had learned from Moses that the man that is called of God to lead was then to inquire from the Urim and the Thummim, from the priest who will seek counsel of the Lord direction. And David. Did you notice even at this, at that point of distress, when you were thinking of stoning him, did you notice God didn't jump? Say, don't do it, don't do it, I'll tell you what to do. He still, God still waited for David to come request. Because he tells you, though your father knows what you have need of, he wants to ask him. He knew David needed it, but he waited for David to ask. I told you, God is not presumptuous. He will not presume that you need guidance. In your emergency, he still needs you to ask him for help. Don't come tell me, does God not know what I need? No, you are, the, you are by nature, by, by, the, by, by human relationship, you are, you are from Adam, the man who accused God of a good deed. Who said to God, the woman you gave me caused my fall. And Jesus tells us, your father knows what you have need of before you ask. I Meaning even though, even though he knows, he expects you to ask. And look at it. And David said to Abiathar, the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod, because the ephod contained the Yerman to me. And Abiathar brought thither the ephod to David, and David inquired at the law, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fear, recover all. Are you seeing it? You see, spirit of counsel, direction. Specifics. Hallelujah. Spirit of strategy.
glory to God. And now let's take our offering. Just take your offerings, your tithe, your first fruits, your kingdom commitment. God will just pray in tongues about them. I call them your harvest for the God kind of promotion. And I declare by the Spirit of God, everything created, all created things that are not in your favor, I declare because the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking against them. And the terror of God is upon them, therefore they have become helpless. I pray for you, from the crown of your hair to the soles of your feet, spirit, soul, body, faith, family, finances, you're going out of your community, you're night and day, everything about your life, I pray over them in spirit. La de penta shibi dakta. Go and dele man glass tedosh iba dakta. Unga boveses oboda egla oda asges. Ono shkeba, ogra azda, ono dagle, belangleskos, frotoji adas gesgo zozegda agda banzal abadangla, emno dagla agro ostele behish kiributa. Ama dai fon jabe la azalai da klas de baska. Haro prafa zozeligla paradigos kogle eshka. Para krasa levas adi abadakla mondela has getala labashala mantra abadaklam fara adaskasa krati kataka zele bose grasta the dark cloud over your life is gone away is rolled away by Holy Ghost. I declare this day Holy Ghost himself shall lead by spirit of counsel to the atmospheres of the miraculous. May the atmosphere of your life become atmosphere of the miracle. Atmosphere of God healing, God favor, God's help, the atmosphere of the anointing of the Spirit of God. May the Lord order your steps to the high places of the earth. May you walk in greatness all the days of your life. May you walk in greatness. May you wake up to greatness. May you rest in greatness. Arise in greatness. May your going now be in greatness. May your return be in greatness. May you never know the ordinary life again. This small life. I declare this day, you are seed for the standard of life. I pray that the voice of the spirit of counsel shall be louder than every other voice you hear. I pray by the Holy Ghost you will never miss that voice again. Yes, it will drown, I pray. Every other voice that will led you astray. Matopelisia. May he speak to you in your sleep. May that spirit of God speak to you when you are awake. May he guide you when you work. May that spirit of counsel feed your life with strategies. And a daily massa. Kebra fare prosely. May this spirit of counsel become a mighty influence in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that the finger of God this day dematerializes every difficulty in your life. Everything that is hard for you to deal with. Like the, like, like the psalmist will say, he has delivered from my strong enemies. The things that are too strong for you to handle. May the finger of God be turned loose against them. May the anger of God be on the things that are too hard for you to handle. I pray that Spirit of Counsel will guide you through life. We lead in the path of life. In the path that drops dew and fatness. May your eyes be open to see the directions of God in your life. May your ears hear words that are higher than human strategies. That are greater than the ideas of men. May you know what to do. May your mouth speak the things that are pleasant in the ears of God. And may the Spirit of Counsel always put words in your mouth at all points in your life. Words that are anointed to bring miracles. In a daily mask fracta. Be blessed. Be blessed. In all aspects of your life, be blessed. Be blessed with health. Be blessed with goodness. Be blessed with favor. Be blessed with strength. Be blessed with consuming wholeness and head of God. Be blessed with divine prosperity. Be blessed with shalom, shalom, shalom to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. 
May the Lord make his face jump and be gracious. May the Lord lift his candle and give you peace. All the days of your of your healthy, prosperous, and prolonged life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And may you not decrease in the influence of the spirit of counsel. May it continually increase in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. after me right now. Oh Lord God I believe that you love me and that you offered your son Jesus Christ in my stead who was offered for my offenses and was raised back to life for my justification. Today I ask for the Lord Jesus to be my savior. I ask for the remission of sins of my soul. I ask for eternal life of my spirit. And by faith, I receive the remission of sins of my soul. I receive eternal life of my spirit. And I declare I am born again. I declare the life of God is coming to my spirit. I declare I now belong in the family of God. And so I ask you, Father, go and repeat after me. Come and place your mark of ownership on me by the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, today I become a member of the family of God. I ask for your presence into my life with the evidence of speaking in tongues. In Jesus' name, I'm born again. I have eternal life. And I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues in Jesus' name. Amen. You pray that prayer, open your mouth right now and pray with me in the Spirit because you have just been baptized of the Holy Ghost right now. So how do I know? Psalms 81 verse 10, it says, open your mouth wide and I'll feel it. So the rest of you pray with me just in 60 seconds. Jelemon gradis faradiga libro co se pradina gaizo frote gelo practice Kazam Brody Gabadina I Kapate La Gloria Perisato Ibragina Sacradi Nore Dose Frokitaba Rabashi Kabela Endo Cobra Ira Kata Labroko Rabakashi Bere Didi Poso Freke Dele Manda Krista Rabba Baba Baba Bokosu in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the spirit of dominion, the spirit of lordship, by the Holy Ghost, I trample and crush to pieces this day all my worries, all my cares, all my sorrows, all my troubles, all my limitations, I declare where these are bounded, grace did much more abound. By the abundance of your grace, 
I rule over them. them. From today. today. They shall no longer. longer Have dominion. dominion Over me. me. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I I subdue them. I rule over them. For as it is written, the Egyptians, you see today, you shall see them no more. I declare these challenges, these worries, these cares, these troubles that I see today in the name of Jesus. I shall, I shall see them no more. No more. Speak in other tongues. Go ahead. You have dominion over them by the Holy Ghost. Dominion over sin. Dominion over poverty. Dominion over fear. Dominion over lack. Dominion over anxiety. Dominion over suicidal thought. Dominion over same-sex desires. Dominion over fornication. Dominion over immorality. Dominion over infertility. Dominion, dominion by the Holy Ghost. Lava Ponte, Lake of Santo, you Bahia, you Bahia, Monte Cabosa, Lee Havana Minto Cobo, Ira Bassa de Manto, Ira Proca Cobo, Ipa Yatata, Tones of Emidai, Tones of Emidai, you have a heart, you have a heart. Siva Cambrigo, Rene Prate, Paris and the Game and Rigo, Procopri Gava, Riselamindo, Ipagaya Sumi Ambi Gava, Julie Apodeza, Juba Gamina Missi for Ripataka, Zofia Tida, Zofia Tisa, Pelos of Fugima, Scopri Ostovino, Liga Pritis Devo Minda Christi, Vri Azomindo Opro Cabisa. Zaki da Ipo Koto Grisa la Mantri Biza Potana Biza Potana Kure Konjo Ego Pela Loto Patagahi Zayi Pacanino Epo Kata Adabro Koko Alaki Pandrima Alaki Boho Yoko Adibo Separatis Kora Baba We have the rule over there Bless the God who has given us the victory by the victory of Christ, I decree we cross the pieces. We have the rule, we have the dominion, we have the rule, the influence, the authority, the power over these limitations, over these troubles, these challenges. We look for them, we find them no more. By the Holy Ghost, through the abundance of grace, we subdue them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I would advise you to hold a triumphant amen when I say that. In the name of Jesus. Oh, this is giving reality to expectations. To her desires. So say after me, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask and I receive, I possess, I have ownership of these desires, of these expectations, why it is called today. By the, Holy Ghost, By the Holy Ghost, I declare, I declare as, it written, as it is written, all things, all things are, yours. are yours. Therefore, Therefore I, take I take ownership of these, of these, of these. Of these. Today, today, I declare, I declare these, expectations these expectations have become, have become my reality. My reality. In Jesus' name, speak another tongue. So to the lazy baby at the re and the grass of the Maliko propays the ice gummy. 
Rogo Pila and Madalo Oscarito, Yuri Penda, Besti for Dava Gadio, Java Light of the Poor, Naminga Glassila, Billy Apollo Minto, Adai the Days of Days of Bopo Tata, Bikani Mestupo, Pepe Devo, Lutis Avis Dava and Amiha, the Tata Bako, Mini the Tabo, Lokra Minto Pelego, Lava City Apropono, in the Mingo of the Lee of the Java, Old Jamie of the Day, Mock of the Java and Spear, Zebra of the Left, Mock of the Grassy, Lock of the Pepe as a Pondo Oma, Mr. Father Gap, Long of the Zara and the Mother of the Bonapia, Dor Salida, Dor Salida from the Grave, Duty Palapis, Duty Palapis, Mock of the Pepe de la 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 Hallelujah! 